Come on, Daddy, what's your problem? I don't have problem. You do. Don't be a dick, man. Come on. Where's your Russian friend now, huh? Eh? He's not my friend. He's eh? my lawn shark. Eh? Stop this. Eh? What are you? Who are you? Get out of here. What? Yes. Huh? What? Ah! 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 My arm. Oh. Oh. What about you? Help me. Help me. Oh, Come on, Supak. Let her. Help me. Get out of here now. Oh. And if you come back, oh. I'll kill you. Oh. You understand? Oh. You forgot this? You have been in pricks? Stronya. Shit, Nico. What did you do? He was going to stab me. Now he's going to kill you. Fuck him. Look at this mess. Screwed. Again. You want to know why I'm not <sighs> living in a nice condo, banging for women? It's because of shit like this. Assholes threatening Shut me. Shut up. <whistles> oh, great. Mallory. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> huh? Yeah, great. Uh, listen, I I'm having a bit of a problem at the office. Um, I can't do it. Nico can do it. Huh? Um, do what? Well, why would you want me then? But, uh, well, screw you then. Great girl. Can you do me a favor? Mallory uh, needs a lift. Uh, can you go pick her up at the Hove Beach subway station? Yeah. Take the cab. She's got a friend with her. Maybe someone you can date. Fuck you. Oh, man, look at this crap. My computer and everything. Shit. Shit. Get in, ladies. Hey, Nico, thanks for coming. I should have known Roman would find some excuse not to turn up. This is Michelle. Hi, how are you? My place is over on Mohawk Avenue. you finding America, Nico? Not exactly what I expected. Nico, you know what? You need someone to show you a good time. Michelle, how about you? Valerie, stop it! Come on, you guys. You're both single. You're adults. Take a number, Nico. Hey, I'd like to see you again, Nico. You look like that kind of guy I want to get to know. You look like you just jumped off the boat, Nico. Handsome man like you should get some new threats. I think he looks fine the way he is. I don't think he even changed out of those things on the journey. How you gonna impress a classy girl like Michelle? I'm easily impressed. I know you are, sweetie. <laughs> and I just don't get it. Thanks for the lift, Nico. Yeah, thanks. Give me a call sometime. See you soon, Michelle. I remember. What's up, Michelle? I don't normally do this, but I thought you'd probably be pretty lonely having just moved to Liberty City and all. You do not normally do what? You're not making this easy for me, are you? I'm asking you out on a date. I am sorry. I am still not used to how things work here in America. A date would be good. I am getting sick of hanging out with Roman all the time. How about I pick you up from your apartment? That sounds good. See you soon. Let's go, Slowbox! Coming! Who is it? Hey, it's Nico. Hey, I'm just finishing my hair. Come in. Thank you. I'll be with you in a minute. Did you just move in? No. Why? All your stuff is new. Some even still have tags on. Oh, well, I like things clean. I can see that. But uh, everything is new. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with cleanliness. Things get on my nerves and I just throw them out. OCD or something? Oh. So, where are you taking me? Uh, you look good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm new here. I thought maybe we could go to the, uh, fun fair. Yeah, great. Let's go. Love the fun fair. Actually, we call it, um, carnival here. Just a little difference. Uh, whoop de doo <laughs> Don't stop there! 
So, Nico, why couldn't you come on the date earlier? What happened? Roman got himself into some trouble. I had to help him out. Really? Does Roman get himself into a lot of trouble? Is he involved in criminal stuff? Roman? Huh. He's made some mistakes. Got involved with people he shouldn't have, but really, he is a legitimate businessman. What about you? I'm just trying to make the right decisions. Oh, hey, Nico, the carnival isn't open. I think they're going to turn it into a big Las Venturas-style theme park. There's a bowling alley over on the boardwalk. Why don't we play a few frames? Sure, bowling sounds like fun. Thanks for taking me out. I haven't been on a date for a while. I'm kind of lonely here. I thought you were doing me a favor by going out with me. You're the local. I'm not a local in Liberty City. I came here from somewhere... Where? Oh, the Midwest. <laughs> you probably know more people here than me. More assholes, maybe. Ah, I see a bowler before me. Go ahead, choose a lane. Pretty good at bowling. Now that's most of them gone. Here you go. A spare. Got to be pleased with that. Watch this. So close. Down. 
luck. Too bad for you, Nico. Huh, I thought you'd be better at that, Nico. <laughs> well, we had fun, didn't we? Will you take me back home now? Of course I'll take you home. Let's go. So, you don't know many people here in Liberty City? No boyfriends or husbands or anything? No, I guess I'm married to my job. Well, what do you do? What do you do? Come on, I asked first. I work with Mallory. What do you do, exactly? You're a hard girl to talk to, Michelle. I guess you're not used to talking to American women. I guess. Liberty City, Miko. What's anybody doing here? I don't know. I think you do. There must be something that made you leave your home and come here. Roman's bullshit stories, maybe. I just felt like I needed a new start. There's nothing else about Liberty City then? Just Roman? Maybe there is more to this place. I'm not sure yet. That was nice. I'm really interested in seeing you again. Yeah, that would be good. I'll give you a call. Please do, Nico. See you soon. Yeah, fuck you, fucking reggae idiot bitch! Rondo, you want blood clot because I don't even bumble clot right here. Stop speaking that gibberish! You fuck bumble clot pussy old girl, you know this? Shot in a bomb Hey, yo, hey, hey, don't hey, touch What's this. wrong? What's wrong? Jacob here. You know Jacob? Yes. Jacob tells me it wasn't him. But some people he introduced me to have ripped me off big time. And put the heat on me. I know they all did. All right, all right, but all right. And my fault to the rest of them. And my blood well, clap. Hey. hey, don't come in on my face. All right. You better hope Nico can make this right for you then. Oh, what? Oh, we got a big fucking problem, Rasta. Nico. Go do this first job for him! Yeah, I got it. Watch me, Anna. See you later. Watch me now. This is Scale Fish. Imported straight from Bolivia, manito. Polvo puro. The best, man. You're in America now. The best everything gets made here. If the best stuff got made in Mexico or Colombia or wherever, why do you all run across the border? Tell me that. I've got this stuff. You know where the heat is coming from? I think I'm getting closer now. But there's one more cat me have to speak to. Shit! Speaking of fucking cops, I think I have company. I gotta go. I lost the heat. Where are you? Cheers, Brian. I'm with some buck and then no I. Get here now, Nico. Get me some straight shit. Hey, what are you talking about? You know, I think you're smoking too much. Yo, me think me know the eat I come from in a king. Hey, Nico. Hey, Jacob. What are you doing here? This is no place for you, Michelle. As it happens, it is. You see, Nico, I have been working for the government. I'm afraid it's my job to watch you. And now I have to ask you for the coke. This is a joke, right? Please, please don't make this harder for me than it already is. Look, they're about to take down Elisabetta. I don't fucking believe this. Listen, I'm sorry it had to be this way, Nico. I'm really sorry. Hey, you know, you could have gone down too if you weren't so useful. You fucking bitch. Nico. Voila. You mean to say you're going to let us off just like that? Not now, Guan? Well, my employers need the help of a guy like Nico. The office is in Algonquin. I'll call you. You know, as and when we need you. The Coke, please. Shh, 
sure King me have to tell Lisbeth so she now get her cocky in it. I'm not in the business of caring about people's feelings, bud. Yeah? Boo fucking who? Hey. Hi. Listen, I know what you must be thinking, but don't bother. I'm sorry, but I don't see how you know what I must be thinking. You've killed people. You should be dead yourself. Or inside. You're just lucky it was me and not someone else who got their hooks into you. I'm sorry that I lied to you. And, and weirdly, in some ways, you're a nice guy. Better than the creeps I normally date. But you're damaged goods. No doubt. Let's go. In here. Salute? Eat my ass, buddy. I'm up for the promotion. You're not. What the hell are we doing here? We're going to meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin, you should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle. Or whatever your name is. It's Karen. My name is Karen. Interesting. And you whore for the government. I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. In here, Office 396. Hi there. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy, if you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. So, Mr. Bellic, quite a fire, quite a story. Who are you? If I be? If I be? Do I look homosexual? Do you think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now, you can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no? I hand your file over to those cretins in the FIB, and organized crime has dealt another serious blow. Go to his house. Any problems, call this number. Hmm. What's your name? Not relevant. Call me. Very soon. Go. And hey, welcome to America. Pascal Stara Dejava. Bushkal. Come in, Nico. Hi. So, you fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. Most murders are committed by people you know. Most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Well, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. Funny. I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. I need you to go find someone for me. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. Someone with something to lose, but not much to live for. What's in it for me? Two things. One. You don't get a hundred murders pinned on you. Two, maybe I will help you. And maybe I won't. Now get access to a police computer and wait for my message. Go. Come in. You're late. And please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hang out with bad people, doing bad things, making idiot moves? I'm an idiot. I move. True. But the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. 
Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this, empty office, leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. Oh. Funny. Oh. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go. But I need to know his movements first. How? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lancet and give me a call. Go. Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? What did you give Michelle? For me? Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later.